as efficient as it is, newton robson method also has some drawbacks, which would lead us to use the other methods of determining roots of nonlinear equations. Learn more about such limitations in this video. You are watching Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. There are a few cases where Newton's method would not be applicable in looking for the roots of an equation. Let's take a closer look with the curve drawn. Since the first approximate is taken as purely initial guess, say with a curve, we get x is equal to 1. When we draw the tangent line, it would turn out to be horizontal, thus it will never intersect the x-axis. In this case, we can say that the root we approximated is a stationary point. How about this case? Say we have a function of x as x cubed less 0.03x squared plus 1. Differentiating this equation will lead us to 3x squared minus 0.06x. In case we take the initial guess of 0 as x, the function of x is taken as 1 and the f prime of x is taken as 0. If we plug these values in the equation, we get 0 minus 1 all over 0. Note that 1 all over 0 is indeterminate, which would definitely not give us the next value of x. Well, how about if we do have a function as shown, and we wanted to find a specific root? We then make an initial guess. And, by drawing the tangent line, we would notice that it is taking us away from the required truth. This is a limitation where the initial guess was taken on the other side of the stationary point. Here is another case where we can work with functions. Say a function of x is given so we can also differentiate it to get f prime of x. In case we would start with x not as 1, the function of x will be negative 4, and f prime of x not is negative 2. Take these values and place them in the formula to come up with the next x, that is x sub 1, and we compute it as negative 1. Now we move on to the second iteration with x sub 1, which is equal to negative 1. We place the value in the function of x, giving the value positive 4 f prime of x sub 1 is solved as negative 2. Taking these new values into the formula, we get positive 1, which gets us back to the initial guess we made. Graphically, we can explain this as a curve whereby x naught of 0 leads us to x sub 1, which is negative 1. By projecting this value to the curve, the tangent line will then direct us back to positive 1. Oscillating sequence happens when the point of inflection is at the root we are locating. In case we work with a function of x as sine x, its derivative is negative cosine x. When we work on its iteration using Newton's method, we come up with the values shown in the table. Take a closer look at the values of approximate. They never converge at a certain number. If we graph those values, we could see that taking the tangent line from x is equal to 2 pi directs us to another value of x which leaps far enough to converge into another root bypassing the root in between. 